scream, I scream, anxiety bathes in my bloodstream. You want me to make a wish? All right, let's make it quick. I have plans tonight, but before the knot slips and gets too tight, I'll light the wick and watch it burn like a death threat waiting for dessert. But first, I'll ask the second hand to hold mine because time is a weapon telling ghost stories about how much I have left before the stroke of my last breath. It's okay though, I can always blow it out and break my own promise to myself. Choose to overstay my welcome, either way you're welcome to stay. If the fire kisses the cake, I'll be nice and leave you a piece. Feel free to take my slice and taste the brulee. The birthday fake always takes the cake. Go ahead and add another candle, but I don't think I can handle to hear the same song on repeat for this long. Do we really have to pretend and sing it again this year? The melody drives me insane. An anthem of attention with the intention of inserting my name. When I know today's a day you're forced to celebrate. I know the calendar collaborates with envelopes full of debris, full of obligatory wishes, wishing for me to be happy. But it's my party. You can lie if you want to. You always do. But I'm not pointing at you, trust me, but not in the way I trust you. I don't trust you. I just heard somewhere that I'm supposed to. But I blame myself for everything. This flame is falling quickly. I hope the candle isn't tricky like a treat that binds me to my threat. I'm only venting, preventing cancer like a filter on a cigarette. The present burden burns bright with red and blue party lights that RSVP'd without an invite. But the alarm inside my mind always ruins the surprise. With urgency, flashes illuminate the sky to communicate an emergency. Sirens wail and speed down busy streets, screaming and crying, stopping traffic, trying to beat the heart that doesn't really want to stop beating before it stops beating. With no accusations of conceit, no ignoring symptoms, they just listen for a pulse. They listen when I speak, racing the clock, or in this case, a candle. I don't want to die, I'm just trying to showcase an example. I don't know why it's so hard for some to see that some tend to feel like they either have to pretend to be happy or believe the lie and make themselves bleed as unheard pain seeps through their sleeves. Broken hearts know how to scream for hours through floorboards pleading before the arrival of stretchers and sheets. But it gives you something to see. Since words alone you won't believe, then hear. Since you don't hear me, see. Meet me at the scene. The scene where I will be committed like a crime. But at least you might finally find proof that I wasn't lying about the hurt imprisoned in my mind as it bears itself and gets burnt like a witch for indecent exposure outside the safety of my tear-soaked blanket. A tent I pitched, searching for closure in a foreclosed home. My body has fallen flat like a line. Do you feel me yet, or am I still alone? The greatest gift is that I survived the attempt, and this party isn't dead. It's just a story running laps inside my head. This year, I'm shedding tears, but not enough to drown. This year, I'm hearing cheers, but they don't bend my smile into a frown. This year, I'm somehow happy I'm still here to feel the ache and light another candle on my cake. I thank the one who gives me breath to breathe and strength to be this year. I want to share my birthday with you, the ones who wish to be okay. 
Resist draining the pain from your wrist. Exist, we can bake a new cake. Just trade in the blood stain for another breath and use it to make a birthday wish. <laughs>